Hello. Today, me and my dog are going to climb some mountains. What a brilliant morning. That's the mountain I'm going to climb today. the bus stop. Get the bus, a couple miles north, then head up the mountains. There's my bus. About to set off on the path up Kirchenhoi. Up there. Glen Sannox. Amazing huge glen. It's funny from above how you see all these structures and stuff that you just wouldn't notice from below. I have no idea what that is. All those lines. That's a mountain. Looks huge from here. It's a pretty steep slope. I've already climbed quite a bit. Yeah. It'd be a lot easier if there was an actual path that I could find. Bet there is up there where my dog is. <laughs> but I can't find it. No. And see, he was on the path all along. Ah. Now I feel like a fool. <laughs> now I feel relief. Not like I'm holding on for dear life. Yeah, paths are amazing. This here is when I came here when I was about eight, almost ten years ago. I had to turn back. It's a bit of a cliff. And, uh, yeah, I think I'll be able to do it today. Oh, strange. It's just that granite rock chute going up quite a few feet. Maybe about 50. Yeah. Look, me and my dog made it up the steep bit that we've never done before. <laughs> ah. There's the mountain, the shadow I'm climbing. Yeah, <laughs> tongue tied. There's the shadow of the mountain I'm climbing. Over there. Must be pretty near the top. I'm almost level with it. Strange to think as I film here, it's quite likely that somebody else somewhere in the country is doing exactly the same. Making a film for this film for everybody in the UK. We can do this. A little bit of concentration may be required, but. We can do this. This cliff. Glen Sanox. Absolutely huge. A thousand feet deep. A few miles long. Yeah, into the sea. I look close to the top, but the thing is, that might not be the top, and it might be another 200 feet. You never know with mountains, so this sort of false top thing. Just approaching the summit of the mountain, Kirchnahoy, on the Isle of Arran in Scotland. These last few steps. I wonder if the dog will reach it first. Right next to the cliff and right up at the top. Here I am. Right on the top of Kirknahoy. Boyak. 
great boy. Boy! <laughs> Just interesting to see But, uh, the first time I've come up that way, it's been up a different way. It's bridge along the back, but that was much easier. I'm quite proud of myself. Did this mountain. So, what do I see when I'm looking at my window? I see the mountains I'm standing on right here and all the scenery, the sea, down there. Because my house is just down there. This is in the group of houses over there. So if I was in my house, I'd be seeing this mountain. <laughs> You're getting a thrill from looking over the cliff. That big basin down there, it's called the Devil's Punch Bowl. It's a huge, huge corry sort of chamber. You can really hear the rivers in here. It's quite amazing. So many people say they find Britain boring. I don't understand them. They just don't look for the interesting places, like this. It's time for me to move on from this top up to the places at Yellow Hill behind me, Mulukabui, which is the Gaelic for the Yellow Mountain. This is the Knife Edge Ridge, quite literally cliff and cliff. It's quite airy. <laughs> but thrilling. <laughs> Strange how the tallest mountain on Aaron, this island, is only about half as hard as this one. It's really difficult, but really fun. There it is. In all its majesty, the Knife Edge Bridge, which I just walked on. It's really, really thin. <laughs> Just here. The grass is yellow here. The rock shadow too. I find the rotten granite like that has a sort of texture of oat cake. What makes me happy? Well, climbing mountains and making films make me happiest of all. And spending time with my dog, walking him. I want to be a filmmaker on a molder, and mountaineering's always really been a hobby. So, I can be happier right now. <laughs> what do I like and dislike about the UK? Well, I like uh, the scenery and the mountains and quite a lot of the people are quite nice too. <laughs> and the uh, things I dislike are quite often people's attitudes to the place they live are very bad. I don't think it's good when people say the place they live is boring and rubbish when they probably really haven't discovered the good things about it. I have so many important things in my life. Like the camera I'm holding here, the dog I'm walking there, and 
my friends and just everything in my life is important. Because you don't really focus on trivial things if you want to get on. On the top of Muluk Bui. And back to have lunch. There was a rather famous murder here about a hundred years ago. But one climber pushed another climber off this cliff because he was cold and wanted his clothes, I think. But this is the very top of the mountain and the very top of a very large cliff. Strange how the two things seem to go together. <laughs> you have one without the other. Like the Kirchnerhoi along there and here. The perfect spot for lunch. A view near the top of a mountain. What could be better? I've even got a roof over my head. <laughs> Sheltered lunch. I think the dog may be jealous. Top of Muluk Bui, Kirvor, looming in the distance, Kashio Hill. These are my vices, my problems. Of course, chocolate, which I'm just going to eat. Mmm. Flat, grassy fields up at 2,700 feet. <laughs> Mountains of strange places. A sort of mashup of familiar and unfamiliar. There's Kirchnerhoi again, the first mountain I climbed today. And the Devil's Punch Bowl below it, deep and dark. That knife edge ridge is really, really so thin, it's just almost like it's nothing. You could push it over with a big rock. So what do I see when I look out my window? ground under my feet, the mountain I am standing on right here. It's my hat. It's just down there. If my day were a story, it'd be the story of a boy and his dog taking a walk up a mountain. Very nearly home now. I'm walking along a path that I walk on almost every day. I'm back home. Quite early. It's only two o'clock. 